Teofimo Lopez. <laughs> yeah. You see who he's fighting? Zoom in on that. Who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that? No damn well who I am. Who the fuck is that? Steve Claggett, come on, man. Come on, man. We in here talking about practice. I mean, it, listen, we talking about practice. But with that being said, that fight was shitty. Terrible. Garbage. <laughs> Trash. Know your fucking place, trash. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGA Praise God to get buddy. Back for the YouTube video. Anger, man, yes sir, yes ma'am. I don't know what it is, man. The doctor's in the house. They got Kimba Bandit outside, man. Hold on, go check him out real quick. Hold on. They want to look. Kim, look, Bandit, you see Bandit? And there, and there go, there go Kimba right here. Forgive me if you don't see him. I'll never get the camera right. But anyway, so um, I want to talk about this man, T or female. <laughs> Wait, before we get to the get to the get to the nonsense. The foolishness first off let me talk about um you know tonight we have uh oscar valdez going against liam wilson that's gonna be a good fight uh, uh we got mexico versus australia i just dropped a video about australia boxing man they're really on the come up you know what i'm talking about so we need to go show love to all the countries out there represent for, for the sport that we love and then also we have um uh estrada versus valle man that's a uh, minimum weight undisputed championship right there man shout out to the ladies man they doing their thing big ups um, so we're going, we're going to be checking that out tonight, man. We're doing a boxing stream. Y'all know we do it every, we provide boxing commentary for every, every event, man. You know what I'm talking about? So come check us out, man. Come check us out. Let me fix my camera. Oh, Lord. All right. So yeah, man. So, so come through, come check us out, man. We live on the channel, you know what I'm saying? Providing the boxing commentary, the awesome boxing commentary that only your boy can provide. All right, let's get to, let's get to what we want to talk about, man. <laughs> it's uh, Teofimo Lopez. <laughs> Oh, the American Teofimo Lopez of Honduran descent. My brother, my brother, my brother. What the f are we doing? So it has been announced. Now, granted, this is just, um, it has not been finalized, but they said they are close to finalizing it. They are close. That means they will be doing it uh, imminently, and it's most likely to happen. But right now, as of right now, it's just uh, reported. So, um, but it's reported by a, uh, by a good, incredible source. Um, and, uh, Michael Benson on Twitter, man. Check this out. Yeah. You see who he's fighting? Zoom in on that. Who the f is that guy? Who the f is that guy? Who the fuck is that? No, damn well who I am. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> That's what I said too. You know what I'm saying? That, that's crazy. Steve Cook, again, no disrespect. Cause we're not here to disrespect fighters. We respect fighters, man. You know what I'm saying? They, they really be putting their life on the line. They deserve every penny they get for it. And, 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 and they do it for a lot of time for our entertainment and to prove themselves. Um, you know what I'm saying? And, and their own fighter spirit. So big salute to that. But Steve Claggett, come on, man. Come on, man. So I was like, who, who, who is this guy? I really didn't know who he was. And then, of course, uh, this is his record right here. Check it out. And you know me being the doctor, you know what I'm saying, having the PhD in engineering, you know, I, I, being a research scientist, that's what I do. So I did my little research, and I didn't do much, you know what I'm saying. I just took two minutes, skimmed through it. But I did see some names that popped out, man. Um, he has he has a common opponent with, uh, you know, having having that many wins and having that many fights, even though he has, what, seven seven, seven losses, I believe. Um, he, he, he he fought um, Petros Anani, and I'm like, okay, that name is familiar. And, um, and yeah, that, that guy, he, he did beat him, and uh, he, uh, he has a common opponent with a uh, Subaru Matias, you know what I'm saying? Subaru Matias also beat that guy. And then in addition to that, the name that jumped out to me the most is uh, probably uh, Chris Van Heerden. You know, Chris Van Heerden, he shared the ring with Errol Spence. You know, he, of course, he lost. Um, but he, he's a good fighter. I, I recognize him. I believe he's a South, I believe, I believe he's a South African. And um, he also fought uh, Chris Van Heerden. Who else he fought? He fought, um, he fought Jerome Boots. And then he shared the ring with Boots. But I believe that fight was a uh, no contest, if I remember right. Because I think it was like a clash of heads, I believe. And so the, the fight got stopped in like the first or second round. So it was ruled a no contest. And then... Um, but this is where this most notable fight, not not because of the ren renown of the opponent, but because of uh, how it happened. The fight that sticks out to be the most, um, I think, is his most recent fight as well. He lost um, by second round uh, <laughs> stoppage to uh, Connor Ben. Man. So 
it's like, bro, he just lost to Conor Ben, um, his most his most notable fight, uh, Chris Van Heerden. And this guy, guess what he did to Steve Cogget? He beat him. We in here talking about practice. I mean, it, listen, we talking about practice. <laughs> he beat him, so he, it's like, oh, man, Tia Fimo, bro. Like, you can't, brother. How are you gonna do this to us, man? You know what I'm saying? We just, we just, we just watched you fight Jermaine Ortiz. That was a terrible fight. I had you winning because I feel like Jermaine Ortiz tried to finesse the boxing game. He didn't really want to box. He didn't want to engage. And you cannot fight. You know what I'm saying? Because boxing is a fighting style. You cannot uh, fight whether you box or wrestling. Or, or, or karate or otherwise without engaging, you know what I'm saying? He was not outboxing Teofimo, he outran Teofimo. That's why he couldn't even throw counter punches when he made Teofimo miss because, you know, he outran him and he he, he created too much space to even uh, throw a counter punch, you know what I'm saying? So I think the right person won, but with that being said, that fight was shitty, terrible, garbage, <laughs> trash. You know your fucking place, trash. You know what I'm talking about? That, that garbage, that, that fight was terrible, man. And, um, you know, while Teofimo won, he, he definitely showed some uh, deficiencies in his game, like being able to cut off the ring, and he's, he's a former Olympian. It's like, bro, tighten up. You know what I'm saying? So I think this is very disappointing that he's coming back, you know? I think it's, it's, it's good. The, let, let, let's look at the positive side, man. You know, the positive side, the glass half full side is that um, he's probably going to get him out in exciting fashion. He's probably going to knock out Steve, uh, who's, a, who, who's Canadian, I believe. Uh, he, he's going to knock him out in, uh, in probably spectacular fashion. So he, he'll build some hype up. But at the same time, it's like, bro, we want to see you challenge challenge yourself. You said you wanted to challenge yourself. This is what you said now. You bestowed this uh this this, this upon yourself. So go ahead and, uh you know what I'm saying, give us what we want to see. That's what you said you wanted to do. So we're going to hold you to that. You know what I'm talking about? So let's see how it goes, man, Teofimo. Uh, I'm going to watch it because I like Teofimo. I think he's one of the, oh, shoot, I just ran into a spider web. Oh, no, that's a big old spider web, too. <laughs> that's going to be on the bloopers. But, uh yeah, so, um. Yeah, I think that um, I think that uh, Teofimo wants to get get his name back on top, and uh, th this fight will do so. But at the same time, you know, uh, I'm sorry, it won't, it won't bring him back on top, but it'll, it'll bring a, it'll bring some intrigue and excitement back to him. Um, but at the same time, it's gonna leave people uh, wanting more and be like, oh, I thought you wanted to challenge yourself. I thought you wanted to take on the best because this is not this is not gonna do it. No disrespect to Steve Cook, but we don't really know him like that for a reason. So I appreciate y'all rocking me as always. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it in the comments. Are you excited for this fight? Are you cool with this fight or what, man? We out. God bless. Teal Feeble tight the freak up. Peace. Love y'all. Remember, with God, we can do anything. Without God, we're nothing. A happy Good Friday. And rest in peace to Mr. Louis, Louis Gossett Jr. and as well as uh, Chris Mortensen, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.